subscribe aim aim i and get the latest technological updates every day also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos hi guys welcome back to aim aim i so guys in this video we are going to learn the two processes which is namely process annealing and cyclic annealing okay guys so this image is shows the three stages of annealing so guys uh, in this video this will be the process annealing okay guys so let's study the process annealing the start it starts with the first that is the heating process so in first heating stage the cold worked metal is heated above the recrystallization temperature so guys recrystallization temperature is very important keyword over here so it will be like 550 to 650 degrees celsius and the next uh, next one is the holding so holding of that cold work metal at constant temperature okay so this will be like at constant temperature so holding period will be 1 hour basically for each 25 mm diameter or 25 mm thickness so guys this is the holding process and the last one and uh, in the holding process we get the uniform structure having the equal grains and the last one is the cooling stage so cooling is not done in the furnace it will be done at room temperature guys so this is the last one that is cooling at room temperature guys okay so this was the process annealing so let's study the microstructure which gets changed during this process annealing so material is heated above the recrystallization temperature so due to that heating so there is a formation of like a strain free equaxed grain structure so guys equax means having the equal uh, grains so this image shows this is sh sh equaxed grain structure shows after recrystallization okay guys so this is the then at this process the metal becomes soft and we can carry out the cold work cold working processes so guys the next one next process is the cyclic annealing and the spherodizing also we can call it also spherodizing so in this particular process which is done carried out for the high carbon air hardening alloy steels so this is basically carried out for the high carbon alloy steels to obtain and to make the material to soft and it increases the machinability also so guys let's understand let's study the process which having this three stages so which is shown over here the first one is the heating thermal cycling and cooling so in the heating it is heated up to 727 degrees celsius so why 727 degrees celsius so if you see in the iron carbide equilibrium diagram 727 line represents the eutectoid transformation which is nothing but the eutectoid point above that point we get austenitic that is the gamma structure and below that we get perlite that is alpha iron plus cementite structure so guys this alpha iron cementite is you know this particles are very hard and difficult to machine okay cuz the hardness is very much so this is after this thermal cycling is carried out means the heating and then cooling heating and then cooling so this is process is known as the thermal cycling and in this particular thermal cycling the cementite layer breaks okay so due to the thermal cycling the cementite layer breaks and there is the formation of the spheroidal cementite okay guys this is the spheroidal shaped carbides are formed so in this the perlite we have the perlite is very hard and difficult to machine again we heat it and again then cool it so we have got this spheroidal cementite which is very soft in nature which is soft in structure and gives the excellent machinability guys okay so the holding time for this cyclic annealing is depends upon the formation and the depends upon the form of cementite and the last one this is the cooling process so we basically guys the spherodized 
cementide is then cooled at room temperature okay so while doing cooling there is nothing change happened in this so there is no microstructure change in the cooling so it is cooled at the room temperature guys so there is no change in microstructure occurred during the cooling so guys let us understand let's study the application of this cyclic annealing spheroidizing so to increase the machinability the first one the to increase the machinability of high carbon steel air hardened alloy steels and uh, safely razor uh, safety razor blades also also we can needles also so guys uh, so far we have learned this uh, the process first one is the process annealing and the second one is the cyclic annealing so the process annealing having three stages this one i have shown clearly this was the process annealing and the next one is the cyclic or we can also call it as the spheroidizing spheroidized annealing so this is heating thermal cycling and the cooling process this is the spheroidizing so guys we hope you understand uh, the above heat treatment processes so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my channel amai thank you guys